Welcome everyone to this edition of Vendetta Gazette Gold Monthly. And we're here for the month of October, as you can tell. And from our intro music, you could you might pick up that this this package is so cool it's scary. <laughs> and we've got our monthly Patreon that came in. Mike is fresh off his trip from the Yuba River. And uh, check out those videos if you have not seen that. Some very cool, very cool stuff. So we got our Vendetta sticker, Vendetta prospecting sticker there. And this month's free gold, because like I said, this is free. He just sends this out. We, 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 we do our Patreon to support the channel. And he just sends this stuff out as a thank you. So basically, free gold every month when you subscribe $25 or more on his Patreon. So, but this time, look at that. It is in the cool, it's all taped up, double tape, bag taped. A little mini jug. <laughs> That's right. A Vendetta Pater. That's $25, $25 Patreon member. And check that out, man. How, how cool is that? You can also use it for a little, a very small, uh, Trick or treat, <laughs> put, put your candy in it. Uh, yeah, the way the economy is, that's what kids will be carrying this month. And, and for Thanksgiving, is hoping, I mean, Thanksgiving, Halloween, hoping to get enough candy to even fill that because, yeah, if they let him go, let him go out at all. So we have got to get into this. And he was describing it on the channel as, I believe there should be. Some uh, some flakier gold in this stuff. Let's see how do we how do we disengage? Okay, I guess the, the label the the handle pops off. To access the lid, kind of locks it in place. There, I guess. Or do I have to actually pop the seal on it? I'm not sure about this high tech stuff. <laughs> I'm used to cutting open a bag. There it says, oh, okay, open. There we go. If all else fails, read the instructions. It's kind of, man, I've opened, opened, had paint containers that, <laughs> buckets that were sealed up, weren't sealed up this tight. All right, well, I popped it. Oh, oh, okay, well, that just, so we didn't have to take the handle off. All right. Well, there you have, if you get your bucket, you can use, there's your instructions. You do not have to disengage the, the little handle. You can leave that on. Let's just dump this out and see what we got in here. Ooh, it's already some stuff that's just crumbling away. Needs to be broken up. A little closer there. Kind of damp. See those chunks like that that you, you have to kind of grind them up. They're wet, kind of clay, clay-like. Let's let's pan dry pan the bottom there and see if we have any gold showing up in the. <laughs> uh, I dumped most of it out, so no, nothing there, but that's all right because we know there's some in there. So it makes for a nice a nice amount of dirt in that little jug. Some cool, we got some cool rocks in there. It's just. I got it wet to see if it looked any different. May just be a rock. They aren't all cool rocks, but you know. So, all right. Well, let's go ahead. Since we got these bigger rocks in there, we'll go ahead and knock out this classification just for the heck of it. Just to get a better look at what we do have in there. Oh, now talk about gold. Now I'm seeing a piece of gold in that one right there. A nice, very nice chunk of gold. First thing, look at that pretty little, little bit. Nice and, and, it's, and it's very smooth on the other side. So, all right, well, there we go. That's a nice little piece of gold, I have to say. And we have a good amount of material to go through there. So we will 
And as you see, we've got our, oh, I've got my microphone set on the stand instead of clipped onto my chain like I tried last time. It did not work out too good. I kept hearing it. Yeah, you can see we're, we're set up for our, getting into our Halloweens, getting getting spookier. We have our uh, <laughs> skull-headed uh, incense, incense burner there, uh, headway. And uh, our skulls in the back there, a little Halloween, uh, Halloween stuff going on to get us Get us going since this is our Halloween episode of the Gazette. So we will set this over here. We're just going to go ahead and start in on this right here, like this. Get right to it. Got a little bit of dirt in it, but nothing terrible. Yeah, all right. See a little bit of black sand collecting in the bottom there, too, underneath these rocks. Pull a little black and white speckle in there. We'll pull those out when we get done. I like to, every once in a while, I have a bunch of little cool little rocks I'll pull out, keep to the side. Like I said, you can see a little bit of black sand collecting there. And that and that gold, that you can see that gold, it definitely stands out amongst those rocks. All right. Looks like we have our piece out of this one. That we spotted first thing. And I think we are all clear from there. So, yes, we are. Let's see if it'll snuff her up. No problem with that. All right. Well, there's round one. Let's try for round two here and see what we get. Now, there may be a little more black sand showing up in this fine stuff now compared to what we saw in that first batch. So yeah, we're in the third edition of the Vendetta Gazette Gold Monthly. Like I said, we just do this to highlight this cool pay dirt that he just sends out to us for, for being Patreon members. There's some gold popping right there. I already saw it's coming gone. So, but it's always different. And uh, like I said, we had one bag that was that was all silver. Even had had some some little bit of like just natural naturally occurring gold in it, but a bunch of crystallized, very cool silver. And uh, like I said it's always different. So that that makes it very cool and uh, something to look forward to. And of course, you can purchase his variety of very cool pay dirts at Vendetta Prospecting. I will leave a link in the description, as always, so you can go on there. You might have seen I just did the another of the pirate booty bags. And I'll tell you guys, if you like the if you like going through the treasures, it's uh, that is the bag to get. You've got big, beautiful, colorful rocks. You've got the you not you know it kind of, it's a quarter gram minimum a quarter gram minimum uh in the bag to start off with it's like 40 i think it's like 42 dollars 40 to 42 dollars for a quarter gram plus all the, the the pirate booty which is what you're really paying for he just kind of throws the gold in there for there to be a gold bag but the the cool stuff is all the additions in the the stones polished stones and the silvers and the uh, copper in the uh I, I got two big chunks of copper out i don't know i don't know if it comes with that in every bag but the last two bags i got had some huge one of them was like a, almost a nine nine ounce copper nugget very cool and uh 
like I said, just great material to go through for for finding. If you like picking through and finding finding goodies in your pay dirt and uh, and cool stuff too, really cool ones. So it is a windy day out here. I hope it's not picking up because Mike's got the little foam on it, so it should dampen any wind sounds. But breezy day, mid 80s. Again, we go back to spring before we ever get into any cold temperatures. We actually have a cold, we have a little cold spell coming up next week. It's supposed to be in the mid 70s. <laughs> so there you go. I did actually have one night, I guess it was last week, I turned my air conditioner from compressor just to fan mode because <laughs> it was a cool night for us. I think it was in the 60s. All right. Well, yeah, there is some a little bit more black sand showing up in the bottom of this one. And then like I said, if besides uh besides the pirate treasure booty bag, pirate booty bag. <laughs> He's got the build a bag where you can pick any any of his different uh, source dirts, uh, you know, types of types of material you want, and then just add the amount of gold that you want to the bags. And uh, and if you if you request, I mean, you can get chunkier gold, you can get finer gold. Like I said, he's uh, he's very like like gold nugget sales. He's very accommodating to his customers any way that he can and uh has some like i said some really cool you can get you can get a bag of all copper he's got the copper bags yeah a little little bit more black sand in this one than than we've had in a couple of them for sure it's a nice Nice gold showing up there at the top. This is this is excellent. And yeah, like I said, I was uh, going to be making up a special Halloween giveaway bag of the Blood Bayou Nightmare pay dirt. <laughs> and uh, like I said, it's going to be it's going to be something you're not going to want to do. <laughs> it's, it's 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 it'll be horrific, messy, unpleasant. Gonna have a lot of a lot of fine hematite, magnetite, not to mention the the material itself, and uh, and fine gold to find on top of it. So yeah, it should be a should be a nice little Halloween horror for whoever picks that one up. Yeah, we've got some, some some nice little fine fine specs showing up in here too. And you can see you gotta work this stuff down slow. That is some some serious black sands. I think that's probably we'll put the magnet to the pan before we move on, but uh I'm betting that's mostly hematite, hematite. That old vendetta's putting in there. That's the stuff you can't take away with a magnet. You got to work it. Beautiful. Look at all that gold there, man. That is just, like I said, this is, you're not, this isn't, you know, compensating for your, you know, this is just a gift on top of being, you know, for being a Patreon member. It's not like you're, you know, putting in the money, expecting to get your money back in gold because you're on his channel. And, uh, but you really, I mean, you pretty much do. That's, I just, I don't know how, how, how he does it. 
Well, I think he's, I do I do know how he does. He's told me before. He's, he's he he doesn't he, he expects to do he doesn't expect to do this for any other reason than giving back to the community and spreading the love of gold. That's I mean that's that is his mantra with this is that's why he uh, puts out pay dirt bags with the ROIs and the fine gold that he does for the price you just can't beat. Look at that man, that is beautiful. From our first, all right, that's just our first little pan out of that. So, thank you, Mike. Mr. Vendetta, kicking ass there with this little jug. <laughs> We're going to give it a little spin here just to make sure I didn't talk any of this down while I wasn't looking. It looks like we've got nothing there showing up. So, all right. Well, that's just, like I said, that just kicks ass. So, We'll, uh, I'm going to go through the next one and we'll come back because these aren't supposed to be real long videos. They're like a, a brief newsletter, if you will. So I'll be back with some news shortly. <laughs> I forgot we were going to do us a little, a little once through on this and see what we look like for that little jug and bucket. And yeah, you can see for that size of that, that is some. That is a pretty good amount of magnetite that's in there. And I'm still seeing a lot of black mixed through that dirt. And that's your that's your hematite that he puts in there. <laughs> and he I know he does. Sometimes worse than others, but yeah. That's uh again, you can get that black stuff out of the way, the, the magnetite, but there's there's no there's no removing the hematite. You've got to just work through that stuff. So very cool. All right. Well, now we'll be back with some the news. All right. We are down to the bottom of our second pan here. More black sand showing up. Yeah, I'm not sure. I might even try to get this one posted same day. It's a Saturday early in the afternoon here doing this. And uh, actually, I just into this week, right whenever, right before I posted my Friday night video, downloaded it to uh, face, uh, YouTube. I got a call from Uverse, AT&T, saying that they had, they were installing their fiber optics. I've had the fiber optics that ran from the hub up to the pole for years since they brought them in and started Uverse. They had to have the fiber optics to get here from the hub, but not, it was coaxial from the pole into the house. So you pretty much lost 90% of the benefits of fiber optics at that point. And my data that for the amount of uh, speed I was supposed to have was never up to the amount that they were said I was getting just because the technician said my distance from the hub, which is a block over, you know, block and a half over from me. And, uh, but they were, yeah, they were going in, they were running the, the fiber optics from the pole into the house. And, uh, yeah, if they, if, if I was available, they could be there the next day in the morning. And I was like, well, yeah, sure. <laughs> and then come on. So he comes over, it's been about, four and a half hours running this thing, getting it set up, had to go up to the, had to go back and forth. The signal wasn't right and this and that, but he did it. As soon as he was done, I was waiting to, uh, to get my, my you know, internet back up so I could download my, you know, video, which I knew it normally takes, you know, three to three to four hours. And, uh, this one was about 45 and 48 minutes long. So it was going to be, you know, four hours at least. And uh, it was downloaded literally in five minutes. It was done. So, holy cow, I have actually got high-speed internet now that I was supposed, you know, that I, you know, it's 10 times, supposed to be 10 times what I had. And what I had was not up to what it was supposed to have been. So, hell, this may be more like, you know, 100 times faster. But, yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. So, that's, that's going to change the way I have to worry about uh getting videos downloaded as like I said, man, just sometimes it'll be four or five, six hours on an, on a, you know, 50 to hour long video 
the one minute, the shorts, they, they load up in a minute. Literally, they they go for the minute that it takes. But whenever you're doing with the bigger data, it's like for every every 10 minutes of video is an hour <laughs> to download. Like, well, why is why is one minute of video only take one minute? It shouldn't 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 it be consistent? But no, it is not. But I'll tell you what is consistent is this nice pile of damn gold we're getting out of this little bucket here. Holy cow, look at this. Another batch of some some fine and then some, some little chunkier pieces, some, some flat, flaky-looking pieces. Very. And this is all minus kitchen strainer size, so still it's got a nice, nice look to it for, like I said, for smaller pieces like that. Very, very nice. Still got a little bit of that, that black sand hanging around it there. Yes, awesome. Awesome stuff, man. That is so cool. All right, well, we've got one pan left to go through, and we will be we be back with the, the exciting climax on that. Like I said, it's it's stuff scary fun. <laughs> it's so fun, it's scary. All right, we are back with our final. Got our incense, incense burner burning there. But look at that, boy! That's I mean, we've had we've had about that much in every pan that we've done, and I think this is the most. We've got more in this final pan because it's the it's the end at the bottom. But yeah, buddy, that is awesome. I can already see I'm going to have to edit this down because we're at 30 minutes again. I said I had my plan for these to be like 18 to 22 minutes. There'll probably be a, a section of rant missing here that y'all did not hear at this point. <laughs> like, why you go, okay, what, what are you saying now, bitch? Yeah. I'm sure I'll repeat myself on another video before it's over. Beautiful. Check that out. I'm going to color turn to zoom on this. Yeah, that is awesome. Thank you so much, Mr. Vendetta, for that wonderful little jug of gold. We will suck this up and... Go back through all of our tailings, double check everything. I don't think we missed anything on this. And uh, we'll dry it up and see what we see how much this weighs, just because I'm really curious to, to know. Because like I said, we don't we don't worry about we don't worry about values on this because it, the the value is in getting it at all. <laughs> it's a it's basically a gift, and we are so grateful when we get these from him. So yeah, that's all clean. So let's just have us a little looky loo. Some of that goodness. And there is gold all over that pan. Look at that. That is crazy. That is just crazy. Fine gold still running, running down here. I've got specks everywhere. But... That is awesome. Just check that out, man. Again. <laughs> that just blows me away. You can see we go from the... Come on, man. Come on, man. There we go. Beautiful chunks, some bigger size, some flakes, down to some small stuff. Just awesome. So, all right. Well, we will get this dried up and uh, see how it looks.
All right, we're gonna see if our microphone is waterproof because I dropped it in the pan <laughs> whenever I was doing going through my tailings again. So hopefully it's working now. Else I'll be recording this, but there is our pan of beautiful dried gold. Just awesome. So let's get it in the paper. Our scale is, well, it was, let's see. Yes, it is it's calibrated out to 20. So let's just see what we found in this bag. Yeah, I was, it was just, I've got it balancing, like I said, on the tripod underneath the thing that holds the camera in place. And uh, I didn't think about it not being attached. I went to move it and it plopped right in the big pan in the, in the garret and it floated. It was sitting there floating. It was only in there for a second before I, there's a piece of shoot there. Like I told y'all before, you always want to get it down to one end. So it doesn't do that right there where it, runs down and jumps the paper because it gets momentum and that stuff's rather rather bouncy when you get some speed going on it it'll bounce right on right out of the right out of the bowl so there we got everything back all right 0.228 grams of gold on that very nice Let's see here we will that's another point two two eight to add to our always increasing pile of vendetta gold well as y'all heard there it went from working fine to crackling like that all through the end of the video so we are re reshooting this part just to show this beautiful vendetta gold up close some shiny beautiful pieces like so we've got the the fine stuff we've got our little flat flat pieces and it's like i said it's just awesome looking stuff very happy with it and uh very grateful to get it so that will wrap up this edition or this yeah this edition of vendetta gazette gold monthly and uh, we will see you next month on our November. That'll be the Thanksgiving edition. And then you know what comes after that? That's right, Christmas. Just a couple, a couple of editions away. It's just uh, it's, it's bearing down on us. So if you'd like to get you some of this beautiful gold, you can purchase it from Vendetta Prospecting or better yet. On top of that, sign up as a Patreon for $25 or more and get some of this every month. And uh, the more you, the, the higher your Patreon level, the the more gold you get, and other other little uh, uh, benefits and knickknacks and things too. So very cool. Again, thank you so much, Mike Vendetta, for for putting out this beautiful stuff for us in this bucket. I don't know. I know I've been calling it a bag. I've been calling it a jug. All it's a damn bucket. I don't know why I can't keep say don't just say it right. But you know, there it is. But, all right. Well, thank you, my friends, once more for tuning in to this edition of the Vendetta Gazette Gold Monthly. And until next time, peace out, my friends. <laughs>